Matthew 6.34. Um, so I've shared this story before. When I was having about to have um, Christina trying really hard to um, be able to have, you know, a second baby. And we had to go through in vitro and um, we, we did it. We ended up doing it and we bought this package that was, um, it was three, like three rounds of in vitro um, and you were guaranteed to be pregnant after the third one. If not, they would give you, I think it was about 75% back, like your money back. So, um, it was kind of like, let's go for it and see what happens. And first round, nothing happened. Second round, nothing happened. And something happened before the day of the insertion. He, um, I was in my mom's, my mom's house. I spent the night there, and it was just, I was listening to this song, and it was about that that same chap chapter, um, Matthew six thirty four. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. And I kept listening to this song over and over and over, and. Something clicked in me. Something clicked and gave me peace. And it gave me that decision or that, um, that decision of, you know what? This is, this is God's plan. I will, I'm not going to worry. God knows. God knows the outcome, whether I will be pregnant or not. Why am I worried right now? You know, I need to let it be. If it's not going to happen, it's because uh, God, God, it wasn't in God's plan. And I feel like I did everything because, you know, some people can live um, a life waiting for God to send them signs and send them, you know, and they're just sitting down waiting and I didn't feel the need to do that. Like I felt like I had to do my part. I had to do my very, very best that I can. The rest is in his hands. So, um, it's just, uh, you know, we, we have to do our part. We can't just leave it for God. God, we need to meet in between, you know, somewhere in the middle. You know, like... If you're looking for a job, don't sit for the miracle job to come to you. You gotta work for it. You gotta like step it up and do you do your best to do it. And God will lead you to do the rest. Was that meant for you? Was that not meant for you? So, all right. So Matthew 6, I'm gonna read it from my inspirational Bible. Just because it really puts it in layman's terms. So don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will have its own worries. Each day has enough trouble of its own. It is hard when you're... When you're worried... It's so easy to be worried. It's so easy to worry. Um, but the whole, you know, worry after worry after worry. And when you continue to worry, you worry, you worry, worry. It's like you can turn something that may not have been that big, but you now have created and turned it into something so much bigger. Um, 
So, no. Maybe if we think that tomorrow has its own worries. Um, and yesterday, I was worried about, or I would say the day before that, Monday, I was worried about certain things from the school thing, like the school assignments for Christina. And yesterday had different, different challenges. Like every day, there's different challenges. And all these challenges are not because God wants us to suffer in this life. It's just, it's challenges that help our life be a little bit better. But it's just, we all have good days, we all have bad days. Sometimes those challenges come in waves. Um, sometimes they're just kind of, the challenges are like in bulks, so they stay there for a little while. And then you get a breather, you get to breathe. But I would have to say that um, don't make it any harder than it is for you. Let it, let it go. They give it to, to God, pray about it, and um, with any decision, any time you have to make a decision, unless you're like solid, sure, and when I make a decision, I usually base it on my, thin, my inner feelings, like, am I ready to give up? Am I ready to switch? Am I, am I where, where do you want me? And it is it is challenging and confusing when you just want God to say, take door number five, instead of you trying to figure out, is it door number one, is it door number two, is it door number three, so it can be very, very frustrating, but it's part of us having that faith that no matter what, God is there, God knows it, God knows which door we're gonna open up and sometimes we open certain doors that guide us into bigger doors that we didn't never expected so um i pray for you guys for god to give you the confidence that you need for god to guide you into which direction to take whether you feel sorry, whether you feel um, confident about it, or if you're still indecisive, um, I pray that God that will give you, will give you a clue, will give you signs, will give you peace about shutting one door and opening up another one. Um, sometimes we have to shut a door and wait. Maybe it's just the timing. Um, sometimes we have to wait a little bit longer and see, see if that door, if something, if there's shifts in that, in that, in that path that you're taking. Sometimes we have to analyze our own feelings and say, okay, is this coming out of worry? Is this coming out of not, um, not having faith? I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. It's really, really hard. But I pray for you guys for to continue this journey. Keep searching in the Bible. Keep looking. There's so much guidance in this book. It's, it's amazing when, you know, especially when you pick a, a verse or two and just keep reading it. If you ever, um, if you ever, like, read the Bible and something stands out, write it down. That could be your next clue of what God, God, what God wants in your life. That could be the guidance and the direction that God is telling you, hey, go to this door, or hey, stay, stay in your path. Don't move, just give it a bit more time. <sighs> I pray for you guys. May um, the Lord be with you and protect you and guide you through his scriptures. And I will hope to see you on our next video.
Hebrews 4. 4.16 Let us then feel very sure that we can come before God's throne where there is grace. There we can receive mercy and grace to help us when we need it. We can receive mercy and grace to help us when we need it. This is asking, this is coming to like having that confidence to say, Lord, I need you. Let us then feel very sure, like feel like that, have that confidence that we can come before God's throne where there is grace. So it's not that our worries are going to go away but have the confidence and the boldness to ask God what you need. You know, I think it's like anything when we're, when we have a problem, when we keep it inside and we bottle it up, it just gets, it just grows and grows and grows and grows. But if we present it and share it and let it out of our, our system, it's going to help us. Um, sometimes just talking with a friend helps clarify certain things and God speaks through friends. He speaks through scriptures and shares, you know, gives you ideas. That's why, like my intuition, I follow my intuition a lot or I give value to my intuition um, when things sometimes in the outside does don't make any sense and it, I kind of see how I'm feeling okay where on the mirror where where do I feel like my heart is you know am I excited am I still excited about it okay let me find more information um so again I hope you guys will have a great week We'll try to do my best to keep these videos going and um, finishing up this plan, daily plan. And we will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us and turn on your notification and comment. So uh, I love hearing from you guys and knowing what you guys are up and what struggles you have um, if you can put it down on the on the comment section below um, areas where you are having difficulty whether it's you know job security a marriage a family situation financial situation um, just write it down if you feel comfortable and I want to pray for you guys I want to be able to put you on my list to pray and of course we have the situation with the coronavirus in our hands that all we could do is just pray and let God take care of the rest so I hope you guys have a great day and we will see you next time